Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shivani and my channel is called Makeup and Smile. So today my throat is hurting so bad I cannot help it. If you saw my last video then you guys know. So today's video is going to be a voiceover video as I'm not able to talk. Okay, so in today's video I created this look. If you guys follow me on Instagram then you guys know that, that I did a recent Colourpop haul and this look is totally inspired by their Super Shock eyeshadow Arrow. So if you guys are interested to see how I created this look, this glowy summery look, it is again a kind of a minimal makeup look. So if you guys are interested to know how I created this look, then let's keep on watching <laughs> and I'll see you later. Okay, bye. So I'm first going to prime my face and I'm using Too Faced RX Hangover Primer and I'm just priming my face. It is a very hydrating primer and I love using this primer. Now I'm mixing these two LA Girl and Matte Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundations. I'm making my own co concoction of foundation. Uh, the Maybelline one is in the shade Ivory and the LA Girl one is in the shade Tan, Tan Beige, I don't remember, I'll link it down. I'll mention it down in the description box. I love using this combination and I use this MIB brush always with this foundation combination i love the end result it makes my skin look so pretty and flawless and natural that i love using this combination for my concealing and highlighting i'm using maybelline fit me concealer in the shade light and i do shift between medium and light shade of this maybelline fit me concealer so i'm just concealing and highlighting my under eyes the bridge of my nose the middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow around my mouth and my chin. This is the usual area where I highlight and conceal so there's nothing. And the look is done. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> now I'm taking a damp beauty blender. I am just blending the concealer. And I will be taking this concealer on my eyelids as well. As I won't be applying any eyeshadow primer. So you guys know just blend 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 dab 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 and it does give a very highlighted finish to my face and so I like this concealer okay. stop dabbing right now I'm using my color bar loose finish flawless finish loose powder in the shade 02 and I'm taking a small quantity of it whatever is there in the lid and I'm applying it to my under eyes just to set my under eyes and it is a nice uh, loose powder I think this is the second loose powder that I'm trying the first of my the one that I usually go for is the elf loose powder but I like this uh, loose powder as well it is it has a very nice uh, finish very fine finely milled powder so it has a very nice finish and it's all brighten and lighten <laughs> let me just correct the light first now you guys can see my real face i don't know i always use <laughs> natural light and this is what happens the sun it shifts its position and the light it goes all bad so anyways for the rest of my face i'm using lacme 9 to 5 pressed powder and again i'll be mentioning the shade down below in the description box Now to bronze and contour my face, I am using this Too Faced Chocolate Solid Bronzer and I am using this uh, Real Technique brush that I don't know the name of but I really like this one. It is uh, the tapered fluffy one. It is not that fluffy but it is a tapered brush and I really like using this for my contour as it does give a very sharp contour to my face. I am just bronzing up my forehead. I love bronzing, you guys know. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm going over my jawline and I will be bronzing my nose, the usual, it's nothing new. So anyways, how are you guys doing? Let's just talk as I'm in a mood of talking. <laughs> how are you guys doing? What are your plans for summer? Are you guys going anywhere on vacation? Like it is so hot in Delhi. What are you guys doing? Like, let me know what you guys are planning for. Hmm. The last week was very tough for me, like, oh, 
I went on the brush. Okay, I'm using my Estee Lauder's Lover brush. And I'm applying it to the apples of my cheekbones, of my cheeks, not my bones. And for my highlight, I'm using my MUA uh, Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate Highlighter. And this is a Bam Bam highlighter, you guys know. And I love using this highlighter someday. But today, today is the day when I'll be going all over my face with this highlighter. I don't know, maybe I was not feeling that good. And that was the reason that I wanted to go all over my face with this highlight. I wanted to be highlighted everywhere. So I'll be just highlighting my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, above my eyebrows, everywhere. I'll be highlighting everywhere. <laughs> so, what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying the last week, last uh, past week was very bad for me. Like, not just me, everyone in my house was not feeling good. They were all very, oh, they were all sick. I don't know. Okay, I don't know why. They're still sick. I mean, I'm getting better, but not all of them are. Not all of us are better. Anyways, now I've I've used my ColourPop eyeshadow arrow, and I'm applying it with my finger. As I've heard that this applies best with my finger. Now, the, uh, like the pigmentation was not that good at the first go, but I did um, repeated the steps a few times, and I got this pigmentation. I'm using a small brush to get to the inner angle, inner corner of my eye. I'm using that shade from my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. That is such a long name. Oh, I'm just blending the edges of this arrow shade. And that is it. That is it what I'll be doing for my eyes today. It is simple. It is elegant. It is like a daily wear look which you guys easily wear in summer and spring. This peachy pinky shade is like perfect for summers. Now I'm using the same shade that I used in my crease on my lower lash line first and then I'm using this extra bitter shade from my Urban Decay palette and I'm taking this shade very close to my uh, lower, uh, lower lash line now taking any kajal pencil I'm lining my lower waterline And I'm tight lining as well. It looks so intimidating. <laughs> I know, it looks very tough. Now, I'm going for my brows and I'm using my NYX Micro Brow in the shade Chocolate. I do sh uh, shift between Chocolate and Brunette. These are the two shades that I use. Now, the way I do my eyebrows, I am not a pro at doing my eyebrows. But the way I like to do them is I first create a shape, a line. Like where how I want my eyebrows to be shaped I first create a line and then I start filling in my brows using small strokes and when it comes to the interior I'm sorry <laughs> and to the front of the eyebrows I do very like minimal uh, straight upward kind of strokes very lightly just to get a natural look in the front part of the eyebrow and if you guys ever do a mistake it's very easy to clean just take your finger and clean it up it's okay it doesn't matter like this just clean it up it's okay i'm showing you guys i have not edited any part of me um, doing my eyebrow I just wanted to show you guys the routine which I do and now taking the spoolie side from the same pencil and just blending all the lines that I created the boundary the shape that I created I'm just blending it and my eyebrows are done see simple now I'm taking my essence make me brow eyebrow mascara and I don't know the shade maybe it's brownie brownie brow yeah something like that okay and i'm using it to just what to set my eyebrows yes to set my eyebrows <laughs> now i'm taking the same highlight that i used on my cheekbones and i'm highlighting the inner corners of my eye and 
and I'm highlighting my eyebrow as well and you guys see the highlight don't you right. my face is highlighted so much <laughs> um, like I said I was not feeling that good and maybe that was the reason I, I used so much of highlight maybe not sure maybe <laughs> But it is a nice highlight. Okay. Oh, now for my lips, I'm using my Color Pop Ultra Satin Lips in the shade Aquarius. It was so much loved and talked about shade by Kathleen Lights. But honestly, on my face, it completely washed me out. You guys, you guys will see. And it even bled on my lips. I don't know why, but it bled on my lips. Maybe I didn't use any lip liner, but I don't usually use any lip liner, so. I have added my Chambord liquid lipstick in the shade 482 on top of that um, lip shade and I like this shade. <laughs> now, now the lips were like fine for me. I am using my L'Oreal Paris gel liner in the shade 01 and I am taking an angled um, brush and I always start with the middle of my eye and then I go to the inner corner of my eye. And I'll wing it up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got distracted by the television. <laughs> I was watching Martian. So I got distracted. Sorry. Now I first, like I said, I go with for the wing at the last of my uh, liner stage. Like now I'll be creating a wing. I first do my eye completely and then I create my wing. I talk so much. God, I just keep on repeating things. I don't know why. I know why. Because I'm new to YouTube, yeah, I'm new to this whole thing, so please excuse that, I'm so sorry. I'm just winging, I'm making a thin, thin uh, wing, not a very dramatic wing, a very thin wing, very everyday kind of a look. So this is the wing liner that I created. My lighting is so bad. Now that I like I record first and then I when I see my recordings I feel so bad. I don't know if you guys know anything about lighting then please help me. <laughs> I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It is my favorite mascara in the world. You guys know that. And I'm using it to my upper and lower lash line. You know what? After doing my lips, I thought I was done with the <laughs> look and that is why I like did my hair and everything. But later on I realized, oh my god, I didn't do my eyes. I didn't complete my eyes. I didn't do my liner, my mascara. <laughs> so this you guys is the completed look. I did curl my hair a bit and I really like this look, like this uh, top and this look. It was perfect for each other. So if you guys really like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. You guys know. I always ask you to do that. <laughs> and uh, let me guys know what are the looks, what are the videos you guys want to see. Take care. Bye.